Full stop. <laughs> What's up, y'all? How you doing, man? Uh, I love your energy. I need that because uh, I lost my job recently. Again, again. And usually when that happens, I like to cheer myself up by going to CVS to buy some new lipstick. This time I found out the CVS sells sex toys. <laughs> and I don't know if you can tell by the smile on my face, but I'm not wearing any lipstick. <laughs> Shit, as a matter of fact, when we get done here, I'm going right back to get the whole collection, you know what I mean? <laughs> Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. <laughs> Gonna make it a party in this bitch, man. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm still uh, celebrating Black History Month. Cause I can, you know. <laughs> and so I wanna share something very special with you. I wanna share one of my favorite old Negro spirituals, okay? <clears throat> I saw a few black folks in the audience, but I lost track of them. So uh, <laughs> if, you, if you know it, sing along with me. Okay. <clears throat> Mm. Well, 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 well. Three, six, nine. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I don't know any old Negro spirituals. <laughs> it's just whenever I see this much diversity in one room, I can't help but scare the shit out of every white person I see. <laughs> I used to jump out from behind the counter at Starbucks and yell out, reparations, you know. <laughs> but like I told you, they fired my ass, so. <laughs> Crazy thing is, I didn't even work there. I would just show up for the tips, you know what I mean? <laughs> Joke's on you, bitch. <laughs> just gonna go to the Starbucks across the street. Um, so I'm trying to turn over a new leaf. I'm trying to be a better person and improve my life, so I've gone back to reading the Bible. We got any Bible readers here? Good, a heathen's. <laughs> Heathens, just like I like you motherfuckers, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. So I'm trying to get back into the Bible, you know, but I'm stuck on Gen 3. That's the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. And I don't know, ladies, I think we got a bum deal out of this thing, okay? <laughs> like, I know Eve fucked up, she bit the apple, and God was mad and was like, hey, y'all done messed up. I don't know where you're going, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Oh, but before you go, I got a few parting gifts for you. Uh, Eve, <laughs> you're gonna have to go through Puberty, PMS, pregnancy, perimenopause, postmenopause, premenopause, <laughs> menopause ultra. <laughs> and keep on snapping off, bitch. Prolapse. <laughs> Adam, you're gonna have to listen to her complain about it for the rest of your life. <laughs> See, that's why I think God is a woman, because only a woman would be that petty, right? <laughs> And I know this is true, because the first time I told that joke, my period restarted the very next day, and I was in menopause for three years. <laughs> and God put her foot in menopause. Like, when I started going through the change, it was during the pandemic, so I didn't know what the fuck was happening. At first, I thought it was the vaccine, you know, because that Johnson & Johnson was a motherfucker, right? <laughs> I mean, my feet got bigger. <laughs> My voice got deeper. My five o'clock shadow started coming in at 2.45, you know? But when my click grew three inches, I was like, oh, damn! <laughs> this ain't no vaccine, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is this a dick? Like, what am I supposed to do with this thing? <laughs> so I thought, shit, I might be becoming a lesbian, you know? <laughs> so I decided I would go home, lock myself in the closet, watch some lesbian porn. See if I come out the closet a different person. I ain't no lesbian. But I can say I have a newfound respect for anybody that goes down and looks that thing in the face, okay? So I can't do it, because I got trypophobia. That's a fear of holes. And you know what it's used for, and you still go down there. <laughs> Brave. Cause like my two humans came out of mine and a lot more came in it. So I'm just like, nah. <laughs> it's basically a recycling bin. Like, I, I ain't doing this shit. I ain't doing this shit. <laughs> so I'm trying dating again, right? I'm getting back into the dating thing. And uh, cause for 2024, I decided I was gonna start dating outside my race. Cause typically I date weirdos. <laughs> Like, all my exes like to send me videos of them having sex with other women. I know, man, that's crazy, just rude. 
But I watch them though, I watch them. Cause who doesn't like a good home movie, right? <laughs> so when I watch porn, I watch porn for structure and technique, not entertainment. Cause I'm gonna make sure I get that shit right. But then they always get mad when I respond with my critique. You know, I'm like, eh, it's a little low energy there. And I know I saw an early release. And from where I'm standing, is that two dicks? Like you might, <laughs> you might wanna have a conversation, you know what I mean? <laughs> So I signed up for where all the weirdos go, Facebook dating, right? <laughs> and it was actually we went with nothing but white guys at first, because my uh, profile says that I have two degrees, two kids, a decent paying job, and I love pickleball. <laughs> but what they don't realize is that I'm on a first name basis with all the weed dispensaries within a five mile radius of my house. Yeah. Those two kids come with two baby daddies, and yes, one of them is a felon. All right, don't tell nobody, but they both felons. <laughs> Only one of them dumb enough to get caught, you know. One of those degrees is from the University of Phoenix, and that pickleball is a typo, you know, but. But it's been going well so far. I think I've decided, I've settled on a type that I like, and that's older guys, like really old. Like, I'm 52 years old. Thank you, baby. <laughs> the rumors are true. Black don't crack, <laughs> but it does rust, okay? So while this face is brought to you by Maybelline, these knees are brought to you by WD-40. Mm -mm. So the algorithm keeps matching me with like older dudes, like old, like 65 and up. Like my current guy is so old that his balls smell like Bengay and Old Spice. I call it Bold Spice, you know what I mean? <laughs> And see, Bold Spice Balls, younger ladies in the room, I'm gonna educate you real quick. Bold Spice Balls come with trips to Cancun, <laughs> money market CDs, <laughs> drop top convertibles, and burial insurance. <laughs> and they die. And I'm all about short term relationships right now, so it's right up my alley. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking perfect, right? <laughs> so, like I said, I got two kids, but my two kids are grown. So I had to sit them down, you know, when it came time for mom to start dating again, because they don't mind. They know I sacrificed a lot for them. They know that I uh, did everything I could to make sure they had a sense of masculinity in the home. So I grew a mustache, <laughs> dressed like a farmer, and learned how to change my own oil, you know what I mean? <laughs> and we've always had a very open relationship, me and my boys. I never lied to them. Like, I didn't tell them if the Easter Bunny was out there laying real boiled eggs, you know? <laughs> or that Santa Claus was coming down the chimney we lived on the second floor. Or my favorite one, your dad's coming back, you know, so. <laughs> kept it 100 with my kids, you know? <laughs> so when they, both, when they both were over 18, I sat them both down and I said, hey, y'all both over 18 now, guess what? I'm not your mama no more, I'm your landlord. <laughs> so if you come home from work or school and you see a sock on the door, or you smell some bold spice in the air, <laughs> Mama's playing pickleball. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> um, so I've been like having a lot of stress and anxiety, like, like really high. And, and uh, it is because of the election. Like I, I'm just stressed the fuck out. Like, can you believe the two old guys from the Muppets are running for president of the United States? <laughs> what the fuck is that, right? <laughs> Shit. I'm like, uh, this is some scary stuff. You know, it, it feels like uh, you're supposed to be asleep to have nightmares, right? <laughs> it feels very much like the White House on Elm Street. <laughs> Every time I see them, I hear one, two, Biden's coming for you. Three, four, Trump's at your door. Nine, ten, never sleep again. It's terrifying. And I personally, I don't even think Biden wanted to be president. I think they tricked him. I think they, uh, I think that, because he was retired, you know? I think the Democrats put up like a bat signal of the Quaker Oats man. And he just showed up like, I like oats and uh, got him. <laughs> so like I said, my anxiety is through the roof. So I decided I would try therapy, but my therapist she made the mistake. I, I didn't even get through the analysis, okay, guys? She wrote in my forums that a uh, patient is immature. So I wrote back, bitch, please. 
I mean, I know I'm immature, you know, like, but I ain't gonna let some chick half my age tell me shit. Like, you just stopped believing in Santa Claus not that long ago. How, how you gonna tell me I'm immature? Like, I need a therapist that remembers when Queen Camilla was the side bitch. I need a therapist with a missing side tooth, okay? <laughs> Cause that's, that, that's side, that missing side tooth, that's, that's a symbol of wisdom. That's wisdom right there, okay? Like if you can go through life and you know you missing a side tooth and you can stand there and smile like you ain't missing a side tooth, you have lived, okay? And I need answers, I don't need a bunch of questions, you know? Like I can't have a therapist with more selfies than life experience, she got to go. So if anybody knows an old ass therapist, <laughs> I need someone who's so old that she has to sit on the bed for 15 minutes when she wakes up in the morning so that the rest of her body can wake up. I'm just, <laughs> you know one, you know one. <laughs> um, so until then, I'm just gonna like smoke weed and watch cartoons. <laughs> yeah, I like to watch old school cartoons and think about like, where would they be now <laughs> if they were grown and in our mental health system? So Winnie the Pooh is a story about mental illness, right? <laughs> so I thought, well, what if we did Winnie the Pooh in 2024? This is what it would look like. All right, don't get mad at me, but the first thing off the bat is Eeyore. <laughs> Eeyore has made several attempts to off himself. <laughs> but fortunately, he's still with us because he has no thumbs and he can't hold the blade steady, you know. <laughs> it's my understanding that he's working third shift at the Waffle House, so he may as well be dead. He may as well be dead. <laughs> and then there's Piglet. Piglet is anxious and skittish, very nervous little guy. I think he's living in a bunker right now. And he's amassed a large collection of guns and notebooks. Thank God he's no longer in middle school. <laughs> and then there's Tigger. Well, Tigger rhymes with, I'm the, you can think it, but don't say it, okay? <laughs> And he's already wearing an orange or black jumpsuit, right? <laughs> he's always breaking shit, stealing shit, speaking in rhymes, corrupting the, new, the, the youth, you know, little rude. He is the hottest mumble rapper on the planet right now. <laughs> See, I got you. You thought I was going to say 20 to life. Ah. <laughs> and then there's Winnie the Pooh. My man Pooh. First of all, it's 2024, so Winnie the Pooh is going to be all the way out the closet right now. <laughs> Because anybody that walks around in a crop top and no pants is definitely a bum. <laughs> and he's an addict? That's his problem right there. He's an addict, you know? <laughs> Addicted to honey, right? <laughs> He'd be out front right now, covered in semen and honey. <laughs> I'll suck your dick for a dab of honey. <laughs> Christopher Robin! <laughs> All right, you guys have been dope. Thank you for your time and attention.